In this video, we are going to have a detailed study on <coughs> mechatronic system designs. As a first case study, we are going to have a detailed uh, view about how to design a common mechatronic system as we know, which is a mobile robot. Robotics is uh, a major uh, field, inter interdisciplinary field uh, in recent uh, um, technology. So it, it plays a major role in uh, robotics and automation, artificial intelligence um, and common uh, uh, service robots uh, in army, in navy, in uh, various in various forms of uh, unmanned vehicles. So as, a, as it would be very interesting to have uh, a case study on uh, uh, robotics, we shall see now. So this is the generalized uh, mechatronic design process which we all uh, which we as uh, mechatronics uh, engineers uh, would have uh, come across through very uh, in come across in various uh, books okay so the first step is modeling and simulation uh, which explains about uh, uh, the detailed uh, model software model and its uh, simulation uh, and uh, uh, the first uh, step obviously mm, <coughs> would be uh, modeling and simulation and then it comes to prototyping uh, so hardware in loop simulation the hardware is uh, included in the simulation and then uh, and the design is being optimized and then the final deployment so going into modeling and simulation the first thing is what is the purpose of this uh, model or uh, project so that should be very clear uh, when the designer is uh, starts to design the particular system so that step is recognition the need what is the purpose so the next thing is conceptual design and functional specification so you you uh, for a particular uh, uh, need and there may be ma uh, many concepts uh, so you should be able to list down all the concepts and you should be able to uh, identify which which concepts suits best to the system to your uh, application that is the second step and the third step is first principle modeler mathematical modeling so modeling is basically developing a, mm, uh, software uh, prototype of the system which is the first step uh, when we go for uh, designing any systems so you should be able to design, uh, decide uh, what are the input parameters, what are the output parameters, what are the relationship between the input and output parameters, and uh, how to uh, use that uh, relationship, relationships in a particular uh, model. Okay. So that is the third step. So then comes a sensor and actuator selection, actuator selection. So depending upon the uh, parameters you consider, wh uh, what are the uh, input uh, parameters you need and uh, what are the output parameters, what are the actuators, uh, how much it should actuate, uh, that's, that all comes under a sensor and actuator selection. And then comes detailed modular mathematical modeling. Okay. Uh, then the particular, uh, in this step, uh, um, Mm, various uh, parameters uh, are added uh, various uh, parameters which are negligible or ne uh, neglected so those kind of uh, activities uh, would be uh, taking place in detailed modular mathematical modeling so next comes control system design so you should be able to develop a controller um, mm, and its uh, uh, connections the connections between the sensor and actuator uh, and the control algorithm in the controller and uh, uh, what what software uh, it needs if it needs any PAD controllers or a PD controller or a PA controller and uh, um, uh, some compensators uh, uh, filtering methods those things comes under uh, control system design and then design is optimized which is design optimization and uh, within these steps the basic modeling and simulation is covered and then comes to prototyping in the prototyping uh, after uh, uh, the modeling and simulation uh, step 
prototyping uh, includes some hardware components to be included in the simulation uh, like those components which which are very difficult to model or uh, uh, used as the component itself uh, so, uh, so so that is named as uh, hardware in loop simulation basically hardware in loop simulation is uh, otherwise can, can be termed to um, as a method uh, to uh, to uh, tune the controller okay then the uh, full design is being optimized and then deployment and life cycle deployment uh, of embedded software is the first step in deployment uh, life cycle step so deployment of embedded software is uh, basically deployment of any softwares which are uh, particular to the hardware which are not common uh, uh, as as, as uh, uh, it can be used in anywhere or uh, like kind of thing uh, otherwise instead uh, it is a basic uh, uh, idea of uh, a hardware software which is particularly used in the software so that's that kind of uh, deployment is known as deployment of embedded softwares and then the life cycle of the full system is being optimized okay so the first step recognition of the need so the need is to build you know, consider uh, the need to consider in this uh, system uh, design is to build a low cost four wheel mobile robot to do surveillance operation in an indoor environment so that is in our lab center for robotics lab in tagarja college of engineering continuously for 3 hours okay the robot should be able to report to the control room if any intruders are found through wifi mode so this is the need of our design and the constraints which we have considered is the environment does not have any slopes or slippages slippages so the environment or uh, the floor of the lab is very uh, smooth and is and is um, and does not have any slopes so that constraint is being considered so constraints assumptions are uh, a main uh, uh, important factor in any uh, recognition of the need or problem statements so that as far as the assumptions and constraints are being included in the system in the problem statement the problem will become very clear very precise so that the designer can uh, uh, only concentrate on those uh, points okay next the next step is conceptual design so conceptual design uh, uh, as i said before various concepts to uh, satisfy the need is being uh, developed is being uh, analyzed and being uh, uh, tabulated and uh, uh, that is that step is known as concept generation and then concept screening is like uh, uh, you will be going into detail which uh, components satisfies the uh, need which uh, component does not satisfy the need how much it satisfies the need that is concept screening and finally is concept scoring scoring is uh, putting marks or uh, uh, putting some points to the table to all the concepts so that you will get a systematic uh, output or uh, like which is the best concept okay so this one is concept uh, number 1 so we have considered three concepts so this is concept number one uh, this is a basic surveillance uh, robot uh, or uh, uh, in, a, in a in a in a like uh, a high high end environment okay how outdoor environment in a high end outdoor environment so this uh, mobile uh, robot is already available in in the uh, market uh, which consists of a controller an embedded controller sensors like rotating lidar 3d scanner uh, 360 camera imu and then actuators like dc motors lidar motor and the weight is uh, around 4 kg so these are the standard uh, uh, softwares used which is an embedded c programming and then the communication mode is rf mode wireless okay so this is this is a concept
for for a uh, for your uh, uh, easy understanding i have i have taken an uh, um, concept which is already available but other other than uh, these you can uh, imagine and you can tabulate as ma- as much concepts uh, as you uh, uh, think or as you imagine which is uh, feasible okay then this is concept uh, number 2 uh this is also a strobo uh, robot uh, which is already available in the market uh, which which is also a very high end uh, robot which is which consists of controller um, an embedded controller and uh, um, sensors like ptz camera rotating lidar uh, 3d uh, sensor 360 degree surveillance camera 2d lidar rgbd sensor and collision bumper and actuators like dc motors lidar motor gear mechanism for lifting of the lidar okay so uh, these are sophisticated uh, sensors which are, which is used in this uh, robot but as far as uh, uh, our problem statement is concerned uh, we should be able to develop a low cost uh, mobile robot which can be able to do surveillance operation okay so these are some other information uh, the standard wheels again uh, four wheels uh, you are uh, considering uh, uh, then the software uses uh, again embedded uh, programming and uh, communication modes are of uh, mode wireless then add ons as a mini drone you have a mini drone in case of the number of targets are high uh, you can use a mini drone so the total uh, cost is higher higher than the uh, first concept so this is concept number Three, okay. So it has uh, uh, a chassis. Um, mm, okay. Uh, sorry, it's concept number three actually. Uh, it's a, it has a controller which is an embedded uh, Linux computer uh, computer which is embedded in the system. Kinet, uh, you're using Kinet X360 uh, camera and an anti-collision, <coughs> anti-collision bumper. Sorry. And these are the actuators, servo motors. So you're using two servo motors. And uh, two, uh, again, you should not uh, uh, go away from the problem statement. So the servo motors, driving servo motors is uh, two, and uh, which uh, uh, th- support those, uh, the other, uh, the driving sup- servo motors are. Uh, and another uh, two motors or wheels, which, which are caster wheels, which does not drive. Okay, so these are uh, some other information. Uh, so the standard uh, uh, wheels are number uh, uh, four wheels, in which two are uh, driving and two are uh, caster wheels. Okay, and then uh, software uses MATLAB uh, programming, communication mode is Wi-Fi mode wireless. This cost is around four lakhs. So this is less compared to the uh, other two uh, robots. Then this is concept scoring and concept screening. So you are tabulating the three concepts uh, in a table and uh, in uh, in a very uh, good uh, professional way. So the all the parameters or all the constraints, all the needs are tabulated. Okay. So you are uh, as 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 you can see, um, the all the all the uh, uh, concepts considered are four wheel. Low cost uh, concept number three is uh, very less uh, cost as uh, is inexpensive compared to the other uh, two concepts surveillance uh, all the th- three uh, robots are able to do surveillance operation then Wi-Fi all the three has Wi-Fi mode and outdoor environment it can work in outdoor environment all the three can work in uh, outdoor environment so as far as our problem statement is concerned we, it's uh, only necessary to work in indoor environment so obviously if, if it can work in outdoor it can work in indoor as well so all the three can be considered for uh, uh, good operation under uh, indoor then bat- battery capacity it should work uh, for three hours okay so battery capacity is good uh, feedback to ground station is good okay score is uh, for the first concept is six second concept is also six the third concept is seven okay so the third concept satisfies all of our requirements. Okay. 
so we'll uh, for this video we'll finish with uh, concept scoring and concept screening we will continue the design of this uh, mobile robot in the next video thank you